My name is Craig Chamberlain and you're watching the Faster 8 series only on the PCM Tech Help Show. Disabling core parking is one of the funnest tips that's actually out there for the Windows operating system. I discovered this a long time ago and basically when a system is shipped to you sometimes it has certain cores or processor cores parked in the machine to save battery life or for various other reasons. Uh, typically this can come from a manufacturer like this. So the first thing we're going to check is if your cores are parked and then we're going to actually unpark them if they are. So you want to go ahead and, and insert a control alt delete so press control alt delete on your keyboard and uh, in my case I actually cannot do that because I'm running on a virtual machine so I just select this insert control alt delete at the bottom. Then you want to select the task manager and the task manager will bring up your processes. You may need to, need to expand this in order to see more information uh, but really what we're interested in is selecting the performance tab and then at the bottom we're going to select open resource monitor. The resource monitor gives us the option to select CPU right up here at the top so we can actually get more details on the processors that are being used. On the right hand side here we can actually look at each individual processor to see if they are processing information. If they aren't parked it won't say parked. If they are parked it will actually say parked right next to the CPU. Since I'm running in a virtual machine none of my cores are parked because the virtual machine manages uh, core parking on its own. But if your system has parked cores, you will know right when you see this whether they are parked or not. Once you've established whether or not they're parked, then the rest is actually pretty simple. What you'll need to do is copy this registry key that I'm actually going to paste in the video description as well. So I'm going to right click and copy it. And then we're going to actually search our registry and uh, modify the settings so that it on parks all cores. Now what you can do now is you can either select the start menu button we installed earlier in this video series or you can bring up your Metro UI which I'll go ahead and do that because mo more users will have that on their Windows 8 system. And I'm going to type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And under the apps section, make sure you select apps, on the left hand side you'll notice that the Reg Edit app comes up. This is our registry editor built into Windows 8. Then you want to select file, I'm sorry, edit find and you want to paste that registry key right in there and you want to select find next. Now once it's located the registry key then we just need to change this one value, value max. This tells the computer how many cores to park. If I double click on this I can actually change this value data. It is a percentage so I can go to decimal as well and this will actually say I'm going to uh, park 100 percent of the available cores for parking. I'm going to go to zero on that value data instead of 100 so that no cores get parked. Then I'm going to select OK. Next, I'm going to select Edit again and I'm going to select Find Next. And that's going to find the next entry on the system for that particular registry entry. I'm going to double check to make sure that the value max on that one as well is also set to zero. Then I'm going to select Edit and I'm going to select Find Next again. It's going to find another one and I'm going to make sure that actually there's, as you can see, there's no registry key here for this one, so I won't actually have to do any modifications. Let's see if there's any more. Edit, find next. And it looks like there are no other ones located in my system. And I'm good to go. So then I can just close it out, click the Start Menu button, and then click Shut Down and Restart. That is all there is to this video on on parking your cores in the Windows 7 and 8 operating system.